New at 10, the Hooters girls teaming up with the Boy Scouts. No, we're not kidding. We're not kidding. Parents contacted us upset because Hooters sponsored a Cub Scout camp for grade school boys. That's right. And Denver 7's Liz Gillardi joins us now here in the studio. Liz, one mom was upset after seeing her son's picture online. Well, yeah, guys, just imagine seeing a picture of your seven-year-old on the Hooters Colorado Facebook page. Several moms contacted us after seeing those photos with the Hooters girls. Once we started asking questions, Hooters took those photos down. But we just had to ask who signed off on this sponsorship in the first place. Like polar opposites of what Boy Scouts is supposed to be. Hooters girls posing with Cub Scouts? Michelle Kettleborough did a double take when she picked up her son and a friend at the Frontier District Day Camp. And I sit back for a second and I take a look and I'm like, are they wearing Hooters? Visors? Wait a minute. When she got home, she saw the kids on the Hooters Colorado Facebook page. But pictures on the Denver Area Council page show the boys having fun, shooting arrows and making crafts. One woman wrote below the pictures, where are the Hooters girls? Shame on you. But I think they should be transparent about who's sponsoring their camps. Apparently, the Boy Scouts of America doesn't see a problem with the sponsorship, just the girls' outfits. In a statement, the organization told me a restaurant extended support to help make a local Cub Scout day camp possible and provided volunteers for the camp. The group of trained volunteers mistakenly wore the wrong attire. Several parents like Marsha Korn contacted Denver 7 after they felt like the Scouts dismissed their concerns. And we love the Scouts. We think they made a very poor choice. And what I, what I would like and I think would go a long way again is some accountability. Do you want an apology? I want an apology, yeah. And this camp wasn't free. Parents paid for it. Kettleborough now questions her decision to send her son and his future in the Scouts. And quite honestly, we're questioning whether we're going to keep him in the organization at all next year. And the scouts say Hooters made a financial contribution to the camp. A manager also told me from Hooters that they sent over three girls to volunteer every day during that three-day camp. Reporting live in the studio, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Liz, thank you.